I'm headed to the CG Fitness Headquarters. Got my protein shake right here. Uh, this is gonna be my pre-workout meal. It's about a scoop and a half of the cellular protein. And today's actually Tim's birthday, so we're gonna go uh, hit some legs. And him and I talked last night about, recently we've been, we've been kind of thrown off, both of us have been pretty thrown off. Um, for our workouts, haven't been having good workouts, haven't really been mentally focused. So what we're gonna be doing is starting today, we're turning our phones on complete airplane mode. You know, no excuses, just complete airplane mode from the second we're like ready to start working out until the second we're done. And um, we've been getting so distracted, you know, whether it be like an email or customer service support or, you know, a phone call or even just like social media. It's so easy to distract from what you're actually in the gym to do. And for me, you know, I'm not just working, I'm also, you know, focusing on recording, obviously, and getting good footage as well. But um, I'm letting that just be my focus and trying not to get distracted. And I feel like the only way to do that is to completely shut myself off um, for like a solid hour and a half a day. So that begins today. It's a challenge for myself, and um, I encourage you all to do the same, or at least try to do the same. Sipping on this pre-workout drink, AKA scoop and half of protein. Uh, to get something in my system, and then we're gonna kill some legs. Airplane mode is on. We're geared up, ready for battle. Let's do it. Working with 330 pounds, uh, if you guys have been following for the last you know few months, you'll know that legs have been my number one priority. You know, bringing up my legs, getting them stronger, growing my legs, and I've been doing a lot of squats, been focusing on my form, uh, perfecting my form, keeping my head neutral, all you know, not dealing with foot alignment, all these things I've been working on, and. Um, if you've, you've also noticed that over the last few months, 315 has kind of been like my, my limit. That's been the weight that I've chosen to work with, um, you know, for sets of three. At, you know, a few weeks ago, I hit five sets of three with 315. Uh, about, I don't know, a week and a half to two weeks ago, I hit 315 for a five by five. And today was the first day I finally decided to kind of add weight onto what I thought was kind of like going to be my working weight for a while. So 330 pounds going for three sets of three reps. And um, it felt really, really good. I felt, you know, obviously it was heavy, <laughs> but um, I completed all three sets of three with, you know, decent. Now, I mean, not not even decent. I was very happy with my form. Um, even when I was grinding, I feel like I wasn't rounding my back. I was keeping my back tight. I was keeping my head neutral, and um, just overall pleased with this workout. So uh, after the three sets of three, drop the weight down. Of course, I'm, you know, my goal is not to be a power lifter guys i'm not going for a one rep max but i do want to get stronger i do want to end up working with heavier weights and uh so after the three by three i did three sets of 240 pounds which you're going to see after this uh for about sets of 10 so getting a lot of volume in on the squats and uh that's it so i'm very happy with the progress i'm going to be trying a five a five by three very very soon on the squat followed by probably three working sets of about 10 to 12 so anytime i'm doing low rep work uh, I typically will follow that with a few sets of the same movement. So, you know, squats being the main compound for a little bit higher rep, get more volume in. So uh, that's going to conclude this commentary. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video. I have some pretty good tips, in my opinion, some upper body tips coming uh, in the next few clips. And I'll talk to you all in the next one. All right, guys, we're headed to Sugarland right now. Uh, my mom is starting to, she made it a goal to really take care of her health a little bit more. She wants to get a little bit stronger, get back in the gym. She used to do a lot of running, and so she wants to get back into that. So I'm hooking her up with some protein. I'm gonna get her uh, some strawberry and Quest vanilla, just to get her protein intake up <laughs> just a little bit. And uh, today's gonna be a good day. Gotta take care of some stuff, and um, I'll take you all through with me. So, bro. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going our second working set here on our first movement, which is an incline dumbbell. Rock my new Rise wrist wraps. This is the military edition. Link is in the description. RiseGymGear.com. And uh, here we go. So the first set, we went uh, 70 pound dumbbells for 12. Now we're gonna bump it up to the 80s. Go for about 10. 
So here we go. Let's go. Good. So, on this next set, we want 12, 10, we go about eight reps with about, most likely the 90s, and then bump it up for the last set. So I'm gonna give you one real quick tip on these dumbbell side laterals. So this goes for the same if you're doing like a cable side lateral or the machine side lateral, which we'll probably do after this, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. So, grab the dumbbells. I should, I'll strap one to demonstrate. Now, when you're going up, a lot of times people just swing it like this, swing it like this, but a way to kind of activate your shoulder a little bit more. Try to think when you're coming up, pull through your elbow. So from here, if you're, if you're focusing mentally on pulling your elbow up, you wanna think that. So don't think pull your arm up, think pulling your elbow up as you're coming up, so watch. And it's hard to demonstrate, it's almost like a mental thing, it's a mental cue, but you're here, right by your side, think elbow coming up, it's gonna help you squeeze that dealt a little bit more. So, do a set for y'all real quick. So think elbows, elbows. Not using a lot of momentum. Elbows. You see also, my elbow is always higher than my wrist. So I'm here, my elbow is higher than my wrist. Elbows up here, wrist is down here. Don't be scared to push your side delt, side lateral movement to failure. I always go to failure on those. Shout out to all the guys that sent this song to the girlfriends in middle school. So another tip, I know a lot of you guys have heard this already, but a lot of you may not have. So one of the main functions of the chest is to bring, we're gonna talk simple terms, bring the arm to the chest. Arm to the chest, you bring your humerus over here. This little bone right here, inwards like this. So a lot of times when you see, when you see people doing flies, you'll see this, watch. You'll see this, you know. And even if, if, even if it looks like they have really good form right here, 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 here. Okay, I'm gonna take this one out. Look how far away my arm is from my chest. I need to be coming all the way there to get a full contraction, right? So here, you wanna think, instead of coming here, you're coming here and getting that little squeeze right here. So, I like to grab up here. Come in here, the arm straight, bring the humerus, okay, the arm all the way to a touch of your chest. Okay, you're not going here, you're not trying to touch your hands and go like this, you're trying to bring this straight. That's gonna give you the best contraction. So all the way, squeeze. I even like to take away my hands here, I'll just put my, use my palms, stretch, come as close as I can, touch my chest, go. God, it freaking burns already, <laughs> that was good. Ugh. You literally want to bring your arms as close together as possible and keep them straight, as opposed to like this. Makes a huge difference. Try it out. <laughs> 